Hey there! Welcome back to another VHS and DVD Blu-ray update. Um, this one is going to be uh, pretty jam-packed. And I'm going to try to get through it as soon as possible because I am in a bit of a hurry, bit of a rush a little bit. Not a super rush, but a little bit of one because I need to head out and catch a bus. Uh, head down to downtown Portland because I'm going to be uh, doing some volunteer work for a uh, public access television show called Flying Focus. And this is a show that I've produced a few episodes before. I have helped edit some episodes before, so I'm going to go in and go to the Lloyd Center Doubletree Hotel and help out and shoot some uh, interviews for the show. It's kind of a political sort of show, um, but sometimes they have interviews and things like that that don't aren't necessarily 100% politics related. Uh, the one that I'm going to be uh, shooting today is going to be interviews dealing with mental health and whether or not police should be there uh, when you know people are having mental breakdowns or things like that, and why they should be, why the police are, should be the ones that should be called to take care of these type of things. And, uh, so, yeah, so, I think this would be fun, uh, maybe not, maybe not the whole pro, you know, the, the interviews might not be that fun, but the whole process of helping out will be fun. Now, I'm gonna start out right off the bat first with a, some stuff that was sent to me by Jonathan Lindsay, who has sent me so many, so many gifts, and I, I really cannot thank him enough for everything he's done, for everything he sent me, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I just got to say once again, thank you so much, Jonathan, for uh, these gifts. And I hope you have a really happy birthday today. I hope you have a great birthday today. So he sent me Class of 1984, the collector's edition from Screen Factory, which is really cool because this is on my wish list. So thank you. Take a look at my face. Cause I am the future. Da -na 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 -na. So, class of 1984. Sleeping Beauty, the Diamond Edition. I have not seen this film in years, so this, this, this might be pretty interesting to check out again. And I'm saving that for Anime Animation Month, which will be in August. Because I'll be reviewing the animes he sent me, as well as the animated movies he sent me. So... Yeah, you can thank Jonathan for that month coming up as well. He also sent me Blu-ray of The Shining. I already have this, but this is what I'll do. I'll keep the one you sent me, and I'll do something with the one I already have. So it works out. Rush Hour on Blu-ray. I have the, the film on DVD with the other two, but I'll gladly take it separate on Blu-ray. I'm not going to, you know, say no to that. And I think there might, might be some newer features on here. I don't know for sure, but... I still haven't seen this movie. I know I know of this film. I've heard of it. I've seen trailers for it. I've heard people talk about it, but I still have not seen Rush Hour or any of the sequels. Then he sent me another anime, Perfect Blue. Now, I think this is one that isn't this the one that Black Swan was kind of loosely inspired by, or something something like that. Anyway. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a shot in August, along with the other animes. So yeah, that's it for the stuff that Jonathan Lindsay sent me. Um, it's a he gives a big thank you. And this is some stuff that some VHS that I picked up fairly recently. Um, Truman with Gary Sinise, because not because I'm a huge fan of Harry S. Truman, because I'm a huge fan of Gary Sinise, and it was a quarter. When you go to a place where VHS is like tw is a quarter, it's twenty five cents. You're more willing to take some chances on stuff. Entangled, a uh, sort of erotic thriller, or no, a psychological thriller, with Judd Nelson, and Pierce Brosnan, which is interesting, and I've never heard of this movie before, so. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see those two work together. Kim Cattrall in Double Vision. 
The Hard Truth with Eric Roberts, Michael Rooker, and Lisette Anthony. It's probably my favorite uh, grab so far, um, especially for a quarter. The Tomorrow Man with Corbin Burnson. Christopher Columbus, a TV movie uh, starring uh, Gabriel Byrne and a few other actors and actresses. Guns of Honor. Martin Sheen and uh, Christopher Atkins, as well as Jurgen Prochnow and Corbin Burnson. Civil War movie. And a film called Hope, which is directed by Goldie Hawn. It's a TNT original movie. It uh, takes place during the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Civil Rights Movement. And it's got Catherine O'Hara in the cast, as well as J.T. Walsh. So, um, I got this mainly, yeah, it was like 50 cents. And just to see what Goldie's direction is like, because this is the only film she's directed, is Hope. So yeah, that is it for those. Now we're getting into some DVDs and Blu-rays. I have a few Blu-rays and, and yeah, I think I'll, I'll do those as well. Season 8 of Seinfeld. Got this for like 6 bucks at a thrift store. Uh, season 9 of Seinfeld. I almost have all the seasons now. I needed season seven, but I thought I already had it, so when I saw it at the thrift store, I didn't get it, and I should have, so I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy it then, because then I would have had my collection completed, but, you know, I didn't really think about it too much, so, yeah, uh, that's my bad. But anyway, um, I'll get it eventually. Uh, Super Bowl collection, Super Bowl 21 through 30, collector set. Um, this isn't what I thought it was, but I didn't, I didn't really get it. My parents did. I saw it unopened at a, pawn, at a, not really a pawn shop, but it was like a DVD resale store. And I got it mainly because I'm a Cowboys fan. So as you can see, there's Emmett Smith there against the Steelers. And it has some stuff from, you know, the, the run, the nineties Cowboys. Uh, but it seems like it's just the Super Bowl memory shorts that used to air on TV and some other interviews and not really the full games, which was which was a little bit disappointing when I read that up. But there's still a lot of content on here, and as a football fan, it's still nice to have. So I'm not going to complain too much. The next ones here are all Blu-rays. I finally got my hands on this. Excellent! Bill and Ted's most excellent collection. It's totally non heinous. Yeah, this is everything a Bill and Ted fan could ever ask for in a Blu ray set. It's got both the films remastered, it's got like new documentaries, it's got all the feet with new interviews with Alex Winters and, uh, and uh, Keanu Reeves. Um, it also has some extra bonus stuff like a, a bumper stickers and a guitar pick and um, has all the features that were on the DVD set as well. This is from Shout Select, which is really, they've knocked it out of the park with this set. And this is one of their sets from pretty much, I think it was, uh, it came out last year. So they did a good job last year. There were a few few stinkers here and there but there were some really good ones though too as well it's a three disc set and i was able to get this uh thanks to my aunt who sent me a who gave me an amazon gift card for a graduation present so i used that to get this and another item off my wish list these ones are all uh, blu-rays i got from pawn shops or or uh, antique stores these are the two ones i got from the pawn shop for three bucks each. The Hunt for an October with the original poster art, which I really like. I love, I've always loved this poster art and I love this movie. This is one of my favorite films. So I'm really glad to get this on Blu ray with the original poster art and not the shitty photoshopped cover art.
So that is really cool to have. Um, and it is my favorite Jack Ryan film. Furious 7 for the Fast and Furious collection. It was three bucks. It was a pretty good deal. And then this is like $4, but I got a little bit off because uh, there's like a crack in it. But this is Mimic, the director's cut. Um, I mainly wanted to get this because of all the features that are on it. There's like a ton of features on it that are, are not on the other Mimic triple pack that I own. Now we're getting into just a whole slew of DVDs. Just a bunch of DVDs, one after another. So we have Fright Night 2, New Blood. Got it just as the disc by itself because it was really cheap. Here we have some wishlist items I got. Shoot to Kill with uh, with Kirstie Alley, Sidney Poitier, and Tom Berenger. film I've seen trailers for. And it's a movie I've always wanted to see ever since I saw the trailers for it and read some good reviews. So definitely glad to have that on DVD finally. K9, the franchise collection. I had for the longest time, I had these on VHS and I gave them to a thrift store because I wanted to get this DVD set. And this has all three of the films in widescreen. So I'm really glad to have that. This I didn't even know existed until I found it at a pawn shop recently for a couple bucks. And this isn't even on available on Amazon at all last time I checked. So that's a pretty good deal. This is a full moon trailer collection. And this has 80 minutes of full moon trailers. And I'm a big trailer guy. I love trailer compilations. So this is definitely something right up my alley. Mel Gibson in Gallipoli. The Special Collector's Edition. Filmed by Peter Weir. One of the earlier films that Mel Gibson was in. It's from 1980, 1981. Takes place during World War One. Double feature of Shotgun and Ice with Tracy Lord and Zach Galligan from Echo Bridge, Bridge Entertainment. Excuse me for sniffling there. I don't know. It might be coming down to something or it might just be allergies. I'm hoping it's allergies. I don't really want to get a cold today. Especially considering all the stuff I need to get done today. Uh, Under Siege on DVD. I have this in a in a flipper disc with the second film but I saw this for a dollar at the pawn shop and I was like you, you know I for the Steven Seagal select collection sure I, I honestly I prefer to have it separate I prefer ha to have it in its own case over having it in a flip flipper disc excuse me for flipping and fumbling my words there Patrick Swayze and X of Kin for some reason, that's not available on widescreen. It's only a full screen release. Extreme Measures with Hugh Grant and Gene Hackman. I have the DVD, but without the case, and I'm really glad to get this with the case. And I got it for cheap a while back and at the pawn shop. So I'm really, I'm really glad to get that. Big Wednesday. I got this at Goodwill recently, which is a pretty good find because this is a pretty fairly hard to find DVD. It goes for a decent price. At least 20 something bucks, I think, on Amazon. So it's not really the easiest uh, DVD to find. I got it because I knew it was fairly hard to find. It's directed by John Milius. I've heard about the movie, or John Milius. It stars Jan Michael Vincent, William Catt, and Gary Busey, a really young Gary Busey, and a future to score by Basil Polidorus. And, you know, I've, I've heard things about it, but I've never seen the film. So that's one I'm glad I picked up. I also picked up at the same Goodwill uh, a Robert Redford, uh, Gene, uh, Gene, Gene Hoffman, Gene Hoffman. Uh, no, no, I'm getting, I'm getting Dustin Hoffman confused with Gene Hackman. Uh, Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford film All the President's Men, based on the Watergate scandal. Another Steven Seagal film. I'm really glad I got finally on DVD on Deadly Ground. Now, I think I might have had this in a triple pack, but it's the full screen release, and this has the white screen cut. Sorry, TH, I have the movie now. So, really, I'm almost done with my Seagal collection. There's only, like, Mark for Death with the original cover art is, like, the, 
the the last one I really want to get, other than maybe Under Siege 2. Absolute Power for the Clint Eastwood collection and the Gene Hackman collection. Mars Attacks, because I actually like this film. I did a pretty lengthy review of the movie on my channel. And check it out if you haven't already. Protocol of Goldie Hawn, because I've heard about the film. I've seen trailers for it, but I've never seen it, and I'm a big fan of hers. The Coca-Cola Kid with Eric Roberts, because it was a dollar. And Buybacks has this thing where even if you get stuff out of the dollar bin, you buy three, you get one free. So I got a lot of stuff from Buybacks recently uh, from the dollar bin. They had a decent amount of selection in there for once. Guarding Tests with Nicolas Cage and Shirley MacLaine. A Sonny Chiba collection with Street Fighter and Return of the Street Fighter. I don't know what the picture quality is on that. It's probably pretty shitty, but it was a dollar. The A-Team, because someday I do want to revisit this. I haven't seen this in a long time, and I want to see if it's as bad as I remember it being. So, and that was like a dollar, so it wasn't like it broke my bank or anything. Some platinum releases with the hard plastic cases of Ruskies. And Delta Heat with Anthony Edwards and Lance Henriksen. I had no idea this was even on DVD, so this is a nice find. North Dallas 40 with Nick Nolte and Mac Davis. Football movie. Uh, two of these Elmore Leonard, uh, Alex Cross movies. Uh, Kiss the Girls. I believe James Patterson, not Norma Leonard. James Patterson novels. Along Came the Spider. So Along Came a Spider and Kiss the Girls. Speaking of girls stuff. Amanda Please, The Amanda Show, Volume 1. So this has uh, episodes from The Amanda Show, which I remember watching when I was a kid on Nickelodeon. Now... I don't know why all that never got a release. It never got released on DVD. That's one thing that really doesn't make any sense to me. That Nickelodeon has never released all that on DVD. Maybe it's a rights issue. I don't know. Shadow Zone, The Undead Express. Wes Craven is in this for a bit role. As well, of course, you have Ron Silver. True Romance, the two-disc special edition. For some reason, this is kind of getting a little bit out of print, which is weird. When you go on Amazon and you look at the prices for it, it's it's not really that cheap. So I'm glad to get this finally. I got it at a pawn shop for a couple bucks. Robin Williams film called The Big White for the Robin Williams collection. Uh, Mickey Rourke movie I've been wanting to get for a while now called Desperate Hours, which is also a remake of an older movie. It also features Anthony Hopkins and Mimi Rogers in the cast. Kelly Lynch. These two, which I'm really glad to have on DVD. I got these for a good deal on Facebook from this guy from the UK. I got all, both of these limited edition uh, copies of this the Video Nasties, the Definitive Guides, parts 1 and 2. I got them for like 27 bucks for both of them. Uh, not each for both of them in a lot 27 bucks shipped so this is uh, the De definitive guide volume one this has all the has the documentary on it and it's three discs and it's got all these cool postcards that have cover art from these films like the driller killer nightmares in a damaged brain I Spit on Your Grave, Cannibal Holocaust, Zombie Flesh Eaters, and then a little uh, ad for a book called The Art of the Nasty, which I actually wouldn't mind getting someday, because I have another uh, book that kind of talks about the Video Nasties cover art, so I'd like to get that someday as a companion piece. As well as a companion piece for this set. 
which I've wanted ever since I've heard. I heard about it from my good friend Matt, Rambo Rat for Life, and a friend of his sent him these sets. And uh, yeah, so these have like all the different trailers. They have these other trailers that were created. Um, you know, commentary. I don't know if they have commentary tracks and stuff on them or not. Um, the documentary and all this all other kind of stuff loaded with features. Three discs. There's a lot of content on here. I mean, the running time on this says 13 hours and 25 minutes of st of stuff. So that's a good amount. It's a lot of stuff. So that's a good bang for your buck. And like I said, I love these trailer compilations. So I'm trying to collect as many of these as I possibly can. I have all of the 42nd Street Forevers, and I have a few other, you know, sort of ones as well. I have Shock Festival, and I'm I'm trying to get my hands on Trailer War, and maybe one day down the road getting my hands on those Trailer Trauma DVDs as well. And there's these other ones too that I think it's. I'm trying to remember what the name of them are. It's some special name that uh, the Australian releasing company Umbrella Entertainment has, and they have their own sort of trailer compilation as well. So, I mean, there's some nice... There's a lot of trailer compilations out there that I'd, I'd definitely like to get my hands on. The collection is far from complete. But these were ones that were really high on my list. So this is Video Nasty's The Definitive Guide Part 2. And uh, this one has more trailers, another documentary, uh, and three discs, and more postcards. So we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, a film called Naked Fist, which I think is also known as Firepower, if I remember correctly. Headless Eyes. Werewolf Woman. There isn't as many postcards in this set as there are in the first one, and this is kind of this is what it looks like in the inside. Got all these three discs. So yeah, it's a really cool set. It is a region locked, so unless you have a region free player, um, the this particular version of it probably isn't the best one to get. But if you, it also there are there are also these available from uh, an American releasing company that are not region locked. So if you still want to get these, you can still get them. I think it's from Vinegar Syndrome. I, I could be wrong. It could be another company. But yeah, so that's really nice to get. So is this something weird video extra weird, which uh, has a bunch of trailers. It's another trailer compilation uh, DVD. So I have from something weird video. So it has a bunch of trailers and also clips from uh, weird movies. So weird exploitation films. So this is another good one to have. So that's it for the trailer compilations. Now I'm going to try to breeze through these other ones as f quickly as possible. Because, you know, the vi video is getting a bit long anyway. Flight of the Intruder. Danny Glover, uh, Harlem Nights with uh, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor, Future Sport, because I wanted to upgrade my VHS, Black Mask 2, City of Masks, it was a dollar, and mainly I got it because it was also there along with the first movie, The Born Legacy, dollar, and I like Jeremy Renner, so I, I I've I kind of I've been curious about that movie for a while now. So, Unknown White Male, Beyond the Mind's Eye, Gross Anatomy, Phenomenon with John Travolta. Born in East L.A., Dead Man Down with Colin Farrell, Deliverance, the Deluxe Edition, Unstoppable with Denzel Washington and Chris Pine, Hostage with Bruce Willis, and this actually does have the disc in it this time. Because last time I tried to get this, it just had the, the case, and there was no disc in it. 
Brian Song with James Caan and uh, Billy D. Williams. MASH, the five-star collection, the two-disc special edition. The movie that inspired the show. Dracula, the series. Volume 2, which is actually out of print and fairly goes for a pretty high price on Amazon. I got this for... 249 the reason why the sticker is still on here because this thrift store has some of the shittiest stickers that are pain in the ass to pull off and I, I just don't want to deal with it so I was just like fuck it whatever Count Dracula the BBC miniseries with Louis Jordan as Dracula Jack Palance as Dracula and Dan Curtis as Dracula Cocoon the return I have Cocoon as well, the first one. It's just somewhere else. The Real McCoy with Kim Basinger and Val Kilmer. Punisher Warzone was a dollar. That's the only reason why. It's a dollar. I haven't seen the film in a long time, and I I, I do want to have that, so when I, whenever I do get around to reviewing the Punisher movies, because come on, I, I should. I mean, I absolutely fucking should someday. Hopefully sometime this year, Mr. Punisher had over here and I'll review the Punisher movies. Come on. The Adjustment Bureau with uh, Matt Damon and Emily Blunt. Another dollar buy. The Santa Claus. Wide screen. It's not really that much of a special edition. It really isn't. It doesn't have barely any features. But I got this for the Christmas movie collection and I actually like this movie. I like the Santa Claus. I could care less about the sequels. But, you know, I like the first one. A triple feature with Big Business, Straight Talk, and VR... VR? VR Troopers! VR... Uh, VR Warshawski? VI Warshawski. I said VR again! Damn it! VI Warshawski. Warshawski. Fuck. Clerks, the animated series. So... I have all the Clerks stuff now, because I have Clerks, I have Clerks 2, and now I have the animated series. I like the clips I saw online of that, so I wanted to get that. The Day After, the infamous TV movie. Big Daddy with Adam Sandler. I remember having fun with this one, I haven't seen it in a while though. Working Girl. I like the cast, and it was a dollar, so, you know, and I've heard some good things about it, so that's why I got it. Wishlist item, The Ghost in the Darkness. Really glad to get this. Wanting to see this one for a while now. Another one I'm glad I got is Phantoms. You were the bomb in Phantoms, yo! <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's an upgrade to my VHS I've had for a while. So I'm glad to get this on DVD. Joe Dirt, because honestly, I don't mind this movie. I've actually... I, I, I like Joe Dirt. I've always liked this film. I remember see, watching it on Comedy Central when I was a kid. Here we have Taken 2. It's a dollar. From whenever I get around to reviewing the Taken movies, I have Taken 2. A Sci-Fi Fever 20 movie collection, which doesn't seem like it has a whole lot, but it was a dollar. So, you know, for a dollar, for shit like, for stuff like Warriors of the Wasteland, or Alien Species, or this H.G. Wells thing, or End of the World, or, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it's it's not, it doesn't have a lot of winners at all, but, you know, for a dollar, for that much, I can't really complain. Black Mask. Jet Li, The Limey, Terrence Stamp, a Steven Soderbergh film that I've heard a lot of good things about, A Simple Plan, another film I've heard a lot of good things about but I've never seen, I got it for the cast and it's a film directed by Sam Raimi that's not a horror movie, so that'll be interesting to see, Lost Highway, heard a lot of good things about this one too, I've never seen it, I like Bill Pullman, um, so, yeah, Patricia Arquette, Balsas Argetti, 
David Lynch movie, Lost Highway. And here we have the, the last stack here. And then that's it for the video. The Karate Kid. The Karate Kid remake for the Karate Kid collection was a dollar. It was the last one I really needed to complete the Karate Kid collection. So whenever I get around to getting some time to review all of those movies, now I have all of the films. Mighty Joe Young, which I'm really glad to have on DVD, because as you know, if you've seen my review, I really like this movie, so I'm really glad to have this. Man's Best Friend, a film I've been wanting to get on DVD for a while now. So there's another one I'm glad I picked up. Ali Sheedy and Lance Henriksen. Flubber, Robin Williams. Haven't seen this in a long time, and I, I, I'm, you know, I'm a fan of Robin Williams, so I, I, I'm glad to have that for the collection. One Million Years BC with Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch, not Ursula Andress. <laughs> Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford and Anne Heche. This actually looks like a fun movie, so I'm glad to have that on DVD. And then one last item here, one that's been on my wish list for actually a couple years now. Hamburger Hill, the 20th anniversary edition that has some features and things like that. From Lionsgate. So that is it. That's it for uh, this uh, DVD VHS Blu ray update. Once again, big thanks goes to Jonathan Lindsay for sending me those items, sending me those uh, movies in the mail, and for everything else he's done uh, for me in the past. And uh, thanks for, to you guys and gals for supporting my channel for all these for all this time. And uh, yeah. Uh, as for what's coming next, uh, I'm going to work on uh, part two of the Never Wars on the King Kong films. Uh, but uh, before that, expect a review of Wonder Woman. And it's, I'm just going to warn you, forewarn you right now. It's not going to be really that positive. In fact, there's going to be a lot of not very wonderful things that I'm going to say about Wonder Woman. But I just thought I'd just prepare some people for that right from the, right, you know, right here and right now. Um, and then uh, I'm going to tackle the Mummy films, the, the Stephen Summers, uh, Brendan Fraser Mummy trilogy, and then uh, check out Tom Cruise's The Mummy and watch that. So, and review that. So, that's really what the plan is. And then after that, I'm going to tackle the Alien franchise. So, yeah. So that's really, I'm going to be pretty busy for the rest of this month, but you know, that's, that's usual. That's the usual for me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I got to get going. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys later. See ya.